So hello, I have been away for a long time, um, as some of my subscribers may have noticed. Uh, I'm not going to make up any excuses, I just haven't had the time or patience to uh, play around with YouTube for a long time. Uh, I thought I'd make a fairly short, quick video here. Um, so today, I want to talk about this book. Uh, it's gotten quite a bit of attention. This is uh, Darwin's Doubt by Stephen C. Meyer of the Discovery Institute. And, uh, well... First of all, I guess before I, a lot of the critics of this book, and rightly so, have pointed out its multitude of errors, uh, outright fabrications, quote mines, you know, basically the dishonesty of this book. Uh, but there, it was produced by the Dishonesty Institute, so that's no surprise. But I want to do something different. I want to focus on where Woody gets right. You know, I want to start this off at least in part with it with what, he, what Meyer uh, correctly reports, or what's cr what the truth that's in this book, okay? So here, let me, uh, let me find something here. No. Maybe. No. No. No, that's not it. Hmm. Hold on a second, just take me a second here. Oh, there's got to be so, somewhere. No. No. Oh, there's got to be somewhere. Oh, there. Right there, I should have just turned the book over. Uh, here's the, uh, the truthful content of this book. S Stephen C. Meyer received his PhD from the University of Cambridge in the philosophy of science after working as an oil industry geophysicist. So, um... <laughs> having a little fun at Mr. Meyer's expense there. Uh, he deserves it. Um, but this book, this is the thing, and you'll see a lot of arguments against this by the DI. Um, it has hundreds, thousands of citations in it, uh, quotes, and, and then, you know, they're all cited. There's a whole, there's a fairly large uh, bibliography, and a lot of people that I've argued with about this book with have pointed to that bibliography. You know, there's a thousand references in it. Well, it's like, yes, a thousand references doesn't mean shit um, if they don't say what Mr. Meyer says they say. So I'm going to, um, if anybody, I mean, I'm sure people out there strongly disagree with me on, you know, there, this book is is pretty popular with the uh, ID quasi-creationist crowd. Um, and if you, if you disagree with me about that, this, you think this book's the best thing ever, before you PM me that I'm going to hell or uh, call me an ignorant piece of shit and demand I debate Stephen Meyer or whatever the typical stuff I tend to get. Um, I want you to do this. I want you to start off the beginning of this book and I want you to read through until you see a citation. Then I want you to go to the back of the book and I want you to look up that citation and then, when possible, get the papers. Get that paper. Obtain it. Go to your library, interlibrary loan, obtain that paper. Now, this could take a long time, but really, if you if you skip over that, that step and just trust what Meyer says, you, you're, you're going to be pretty screwed. So, this is my collection of papers, and you know what? This is what I've collected for the first five chapters only. These are the papers. Okay, so, yeah, I got pretty much everything. Um... And you know what? He doesn't, he just simply, everything he says is incorrect. He either misstates something, he talk, uh, the author in the paper is discussing one subject, and Meyer fills in the little parentheses, you know, he'll say evolution in place of what the author is really talking about, um, things like that. And it's really, really dishonest. Now, a lot of it I can, I can chalk up to, I'm really, always willing to concede that some of these people, I mean, phylogeny, especially arthropod phylogeny, is a pretty challenging topic pretty challenging field. Um, and so it's it's understandable that he would get some things wrong, and I can forgive that. Being wrong is, you know, we're all wrong on certain things. But there are points when he he's just outright, there's no there's no excuse. And I'm going to give you one example of that. Um, let's see here. Here we go. So this is about arthropods. Um, this is actually in his response to critics section. And he states right here, uh, he's talking about the how 
you know, nobody knows anything about arthropod evolution and phylogeny, basically. And he cites a bunch of people, um, including uh, Gregory Edgecombe. He says, Arthropod phylogeny is sometimes presented as an almost hopeless puzzle wherein all possible competing hypotheses have support. I'm sorry, there's a cat at the camera. Um, so, right, so look, wow, isn't that, isn't that amazing? Gregory Edgecombe says, nobody knows fuck all about arthropod phylogeny. That, it's, it's not even knowable. It's right there. Except for the fact that that's in the introduction, and he's presenting the case that in the past, people have said this and this and this. However, here's what he says exactly. He states... Arthropod phylogeny is sometimes presented as an almost hopeless puzzle, wherein all possible competing hypotheses have support. It is certainly the case that a great diversity of groupings has been advocated through the decades, and much of this diversity is seen even in contemporary work. However, it needs to be emphasized that the field, that the field of strongly supported competing theories has been winnowed down, and current debates focus on a few alternatives that each generally find support from different kinds of evidence. In other words, it's pretty well resolved. And leaving that out, Meyer completely changes the meaning to make this guy sound like he supports that guy. And that's a lie, and that's dishonest. Um, let's see if there's another example. Is it even worth it? Um, you know what? I'm not going to bother. Um, I might make a series about this because, like I said, I've put in one hell of a lot of time um, researching this book. And it's... Uh, if you want to know about the Cambrian, if you really want to learn about the Cambrian, this is what you guys get. This is it's kind of a spendy book, unfortunately, but this sums up virtually every single thing known about the Cambrian. Meyer even cites it incorrectly, but he cites it. Um, and this is, this is it. Uh, this book is absolutely almost page by page devastating to everything that Stephen Meyer says in this book. Okay, I mean, and I'm not exaggerating that. Um, it's no wonder that the Luskin, the attack gerbil, and Meyer and such have really, really done their best to just dis not discredit, but to mm, spread untruths about what this book actually contains, knowing that their audience isn't going to shell out the sixty dollars to read this book. Uh, but if you get a chance, this it's an amazing book. It's great illustrations. Um, it's like I said, it's the, the current literature at least as of. Uh, 2013, what's known about the Cambrian explosion, including the biochemistry, the small shelly fauna, all of that kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's a great book. All right, that's it. I'm going to make this short, so you guys take care, and I'll try to try to be better about making videos. I say that all the time, and so, I mean, I'd probably be lying about that, but I'll, I'll certainly try. How about that? All right, take care.